Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Resurrection Remix version 5.5.9 for the Galaxy S3 so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Resurrection Remix version 5 whatever it is this was one of the first ROMs to give us a functioning lollipop ROM with a lot of features and it has continued to uh, keep that trend with it. So that is something which is really really awesome. And uh, well right now it is in its 5.5.9 iteration and it is really really awesome. Let's go to the phone stuff now. Um, you can see it is Resurrection Remix version 5.5.9. I hope you can see that it is version 5.5.9. And uh, it is on Android 5.1.1, which is the latest version of Android right now. So that is also really cool to have. Um, you can also get uh, all the Lolly Land, whatever game what that was. It does have the Android security patch of November 1st. So you do uh, you are covered in that respect. And it does have a lot of extra uh, stuff here, which shows stuff uh, like the status of everything and all that. It's really nice. In the about for about the phone page, about the uh, resurrection remix page, you do have change log. You can actually access the change log through this one and see what all the changes. There you can see there are a lot of changes and. Okay, from the last version I've uh, reviewed, there are going to be a lot of changes in terms of stability, in terms of battery life, in terms of uh, sheer performance of the ROM. So there are going to be a lot of changes and yeah, I'll hope to show you guys all that. It is using the Archidroid kernel, which you I'm not really sure you saw that. So yeah, there you go. It is using the Archidroid kernel. So that is one of the best kernels available for the phone. So you do have that. Uh, let's get to the extra stuff now. Yes. The Resurrection Remix has a lot and I mean a lot of extra settings. So let's get started now. First of all in the configuration you do have uh, status bar controls like uh, brightness control all of this. I'm not going to get uh, go through each and every one of them because most of them are normally available in other custom ROMs of 5.1.1 nature. So yeah uh, it does have sta uh, task manager which is something which I really appreciate because uh, that is really nice to have. Status bar temperature, carrier label, headset icon all of these can be enabled. Uh, the uh, um, logo can be shown on the uh, status bar so left side I guess you you, you do need a uh, restart for that so that is working so there you go there you have it logo color can be changed logo location can be changed from left or right uh, whatever you want quick pull down smart pull down greeting on the status bar when you come back from a lock screen uh, battery icon battery status style circle uh, bar battery bar all that can be customized from here notification drawer setting in, the, in that you do have uh, tile order settings and yeah if you haven't seen uh, resurrection remixes tile arrangement it is bogus there are a lot of tiles you can have a uh, slim actions all of this can be customized there are already a lot of tiles in here so yeah there are a lot of them uh, advanced location tile height sensitive tiles when locked all of this can be customized force expand notification show weather slim actions all this can be customized and that is really nice recent panel it does have the recent panel memory bar uh, search search in recent panel uh, clear or button location shake to clear is something there so you just uh, you just shake the phone to clear the uh, recent panel it also has slim recent so if you enable slim recent it will enable the slim recent rather than the um, normal interface uh, AU AUSP slim style. In the lock screen settings you do have shortcuts and quick shortcuts. Shortcuts are the ones which you uh, find in the middle of the screen which is from slim ROM and also quick shortcuts are the bottom ones which you can change to whatever you're liking. Customize uh, okay, lock screen customization you can also enable lock screen blur which is a really awesome feature you can see what's going on inside uh, well, beneath your lock screen from this one so you can enable that. Uh, disable torch on lock screen look, look, rotate the lock screen also available you can also change the color of all the text available in that so that's also really nice lock screen weather options you can enable weather and do stuff like that long press on torch uh, lock icon to launch the torch 
this is something which I really appreciate any time because uh, torch is something which I use a lot of time so you can long press on this and the torch is enabled so that is something which is really awesome uh, and also double tap, double tap on the anywhere on the lock screen to lock it again so that's also really awesome buttons in the buttons option you can also enable the navigation buttons and uh, yeah I guess that much is it but in this case you, if you enable navigation buttons the hardware buttons still work so that is something which I found to be really useful so that is also available if you enable the navigation button you do have all of these settings available show arrow, show arrow keys while typing double tap to sleep something which i use always for a button saver uh, slim dim options are available so it will go back to dots rather than this one these are all available and these are really really awesome settings animation settings you do have ability the ability to change all the animations of the rom including toast animation list view animation system animations entire stuff from aokp system so you do have a lot of options there gesture anywhere you do have options to change the gesture i mean again i'm not going to talk too much about that because gesture anywhere is hands down my favorite feature on any gesture option even app sidebar even app circle bar by controls gesture anywhere get me stuff done so i am a huge fan of this one so yeah and the miscellaneous option you do have a clock blocker which is something which i really appreciate now the Okay, I'll talk about battery life uh, later. You do have a CLNX switch option. You can also have it in uh, enforcing mode or the permissive mode. I'm not going to do that right now, but you do have option to change from that. Uh, system app remover. You can actually uh, remove system app without the use of a uh, file explorer with this ROM. So you can actually change and well, if you don't want calculator, they remove that. But do thread caution because you can actually break the working of the phone by removing essential system applications. So just a word of caution. Uh, clock widget application. This is the C clock from uh, CyanogenMod. Mod. So you do have that. There's also an option for uh, changing the vibration intensity, which I personally like a lot. But selecting this uh, does cause a uh, FC issue, which uh, is unfortunate. But yeah, I think that is it. Uh, performance tuning. In the performance tuning option, you do have uh, change the. You do have options. These are mostly found in developer options like which is uh, there by double by tapping repeatedly the build number you do have that but you can also change it from here kernel tweaks from here uh, which is basically a kernel auditor application so you have all the stuff which this can give you like CPU governor selections and all that uh, enable disable cores all that can be selected from here so that is really nice you can also have LMK low memory ki uh, killer uh, set up the way you want so that is also really awesome to have so yeah in the update section you do have an OTA updater but this is basically what what it does is it uh, just scans for an update it downloads the full thing which is about a 250 meg download and then flash it so it's not something of a delta uh, update feature which is a really much better application than in my opinion so yeah it's also there so that is it in the configurations option now pitch black now pitch black is basically the real dark slim the dark slim option which was available in slim roms if you enable that it will turn dark and yeah this is a custom theme you do have option for to switch it at, uh, automatically on light condition or depending on the time so that is also really awesome to have so yeah that is something which i really appreciate it does have theme chooser rather than uh, layers which personally i appreciate because i use a theme for my phone uh, rather than the uh, layer support uh, which is basically a less ugly theme they have plug for that uh, just just so you guys know so that is something which i really appreciate in this regard in the other settings it's basically something you will find in any other uh, rom with the same thing so uh, you have ambient display you have a live display all of this is available in display options in the sound and notification option you do have options for uh, changing the notification light the battery light all that can be customized and you can even select custom apps uh, notification lights for custom applications so you can also have that uh, heads up is also there it's really nice to have uh, battery settings now let's get back to battery the battery life on this is pretty well it's not something desirable but well resurrection remix has never been something which i would consider as a battery demon uh because well it has so many features and probably if you're going for this rom you will use most of the features and uh well battery life is quite intensive on that uh battery life i was able to get barely one day with medium to high usage so depending on usage your mileage may vary but uh for me 
this is not a very very good battery life giving ROM but still that's okay because you're not going to use this phone for just battery life so yeah um, apart from that basically in the privacy option you do have privacy guard uh, stats collection can be disabled all that blocker call blocker all that is enabled which are which are basic science and more functions this is basically a um, modified version of science and more with a lot of features from a lot of other roms also so that's something really cool you do have super sue integrated so you do have all of these functions uh, where you can actually change the settings and all that settings do require uh, super sue uh, super user permissions to just do stuff so yeah just so you guys know in the application stuff uh, i have installed a few applications here like the es file explorer and titanium backup because of few reasons and also mx player uh but it comes with most of the stuff which you need it does have a document viewer which can be used as a file explorer uh well very limited file explorer um it can it does come with audio effect which is a more feature which you can buy which you can tweak your audio which is really nice to have uh browser settings uh, it does have camera the camera is just mundane it is just the camera it also has the file explorer which is cyanogen mode file explorer which is a much more uh full size file explorer which is really awesome uh kernel auditor is of course installed uh, you do have all of these applications also so that is it in the uh, apps menu now using this basically i've used this for a long time i mean resurrection remix was my daily driver for some time and i really really appreciate that so basically it's just as smooth as i remember there are no hiccups uh, here and there it does just plain works as a daily driver so that's really nice to have let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so there you have it that is the resurrection remix boot animation which is pretty awesome i mean this is the first thing you see on the rom and it is pretty awesome so let me show you guys the Antutu benchmark score which is basically a really awesome score because well considering it is running uh, archie kernel that shouldn't be a surprise for you guys so <laughs> the score which i received which is about 23,000, which is on the lower side uh, uh right now because well i guess the phone is hot and uh few google uh services were running on the background and yeah that is why so let's uh just finish it up that is the score which i received which is about 24,000, which is a uh, normal score for any lollipop rom it's nothing uh, compared to the performance standards of other roms which i'm receiving so basically that is it um uh, again in the conclusion, I would like to talk about this ROM. This is basically a feature-filled ROM. I can't just say this is a feature-rich ROM. It's It has all the features which you are going to expect fin from any other custom ROM. And it does have that. And yeah, that is it in this ROM. So yeah, uh, the battery life is not very good. But most people who are going to use this does not care. And um, basically, it's quite solid i did have a few issues with the uh, g apps but uh they, those are just because of my g apps package which i was using so yeah uh your mileage may vary on that so i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye